Okay, so we're going to review how to uh, review about half notes. So remember, a half note is going to look just like a quarter note. Only difference is you got a line and you got a circle. Okay, it's not shaded in. Good job. And remember that a half note equals two beats of sound. All right, and remember that it equals four pulses. Remember, pulses, I'm going to put this down here. Pulses is equal to the number of beats any note or any rest has times two. So if a half note has two beats, I'm going to go two times two, and boom, you guessed it. I'm going to have four pulses. And remember, pulses are the same thing as arrows, so I'd have four arrows. All right, so I'm going to draw four arrows up here. We always start with down, then up, then down, and then up, okay? So hopefully you got that. Now remember, if I was to take our world's most boringest rhythm, which is four chord notes, I got one, two, three, four. And remember, whenever we're writing in the uh, counts to this, the counts we're always going to do the arrows first. So down and up. Remember, a chord note equals one beat. Um, that's why it equals one beat and it has two. Sorry if this is blurry. Oh, nope, did that wrong. All right. Let's try to get some focus here. Okay. So we got a down and up arrow here. Uh, remember, a quarter note equals one beat, so it gets two pulses. Pulses are represented by arrows. Got a down and up. Got a down and up. I got a down and a up. Okay, so I'm always going to do big one, big two, big three, big four on the down arrows, and then I'm doing my pulses on the up arrows. Un, u, e, or. Right? Now, if I wanted to take these two notes, remember, and combine them into one note, it's going to turn into a half note because. Two quarter notes together, a quarter note plus a quarter note is going to equal two beats. It turns into a half note. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my half note here. And then I'm going to draw my two quarter notes, okay? So remember, when you're writing in the counts, you're still going to do the pulses first. We said that this gets four pulses. And the reason why I know it gets four pulses is because it equals two beats. And I'm going to use this, all right? I'm going to go the number of beats, which is two times two. And remember, so two times two equals four. So this half uh, note is going to get four pulses. So I'm going to go down, up down up the same thing that i have right here okay then i got three four this is a chord note it gets two pulses so i got my two pulses here it's another chord note so i have two pulses now when i get ready to write in the counts this is going to be a little different here remember so i'm going to go ahead and do this so we know boom that is big one now when we get right here it's going to be a little different remember this quarter note has now went into this quarter note to make this half note so two is still there, but we're going to make it small. It's going to be a little placeholder, all right? It's not going to be in parentheses because it's not a rest. We're just going to make it small because, remember, this quarter note here has now went into this, making this. So this two is inside of this half note. We're going to put this right here so we know that we still give it two beats. So I got one, two. You already know right here. This is going to down B is going to be big three. This down B is going to be big four, all right? Now we got to go back and do our pulses. So now... When I am doing the pulses for this, remember, i got to figure out how to count the words one and four pulses and four made a syllable. We already know from prior experience that has a quarter note and it gets two pulses. I'm going to go one, one, all right? And if I want to skip over here, I'll draw my one, and then I'll put one. If I wanted to skip over here, one. So when I get ready to count this, all right, that's if I wanted to do that, all right, so... If I make this a half note, sorry. And if I just kept on extending that, that would be that. So when I come over here, the word I'm going to put is un for this arrow. So this one is one pulse. So un is the second pulse. Under this small here, I'm going to put one. Under this small here, I'm going to put one. So now I got four pulses. The first pulse is one. Wait for it. I got one. That's my second pulse. Third pulse. Fourth pulse. Fourth pulse. So when I count this, it has to be all together. And I got to hear four pulses. All right. Use your foot to help you out. Put it in five. Put your foot back in five. All right. And if I count this whole three, I would have Let me go ahead and put my pencil down on three. And I got four. All right. How about if I had two half notes? I got half note here, half note here. How many pulses does my half note get? In order to answer that, I got to think about how many beats it gets. So I know that this gets two beats. Remember, the number of beats is one. 
some of them or else they will be cast down up. Then I go down, up, down, up. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and do the numbers. So I'm going to do the down. Boom, I'm starting to have no over. You guessed it. Yes, it will be a big number. So now I have a big three. All right, then on this next down arrow, yes, you guessed it. It's going to be small because four is inside of here. So now I got to come up with four pulses for the number one and four made up pulses for the number three. All right. And so you guessed it. Yes, I'm going to go one under this up arrow, un, under this two, un. On this up arrow, un. so I got four pulses now. I got one, un, un, un. That's my four pulses. I won't say two because it's small. Then I got three. I got to make four pulses out of three. I got three. I'm going to go E, E, E. All right. So now when I count this, all right, I'm going one, one, E, E, E. All right. One, 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 three, E, E. That's how that is going to be counted. So let's try one more scenario here. What if I have a quarter note followed by a half note and a quarter note? I'm still going to do the same exact process. So I'm going to do my uh, arrow first. I'm going to do one and then an up arrow for my quarter note because I know my quarter note gets two pulses. And my half note gets the four pulses. So I'm going to do two pulses. I'm going to go three, four pulses. I'm going to go down. Up, down, up. My quarter note, two pulses. All right, so I'm going to go down, up. Now I got to go through and I got to count my numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Big one right here. Big two right here. Now for this three, remember, it is inside of this half note, so I'm going to make this small. Then I'm going to go ahead and right here on my next down arrow, big four. Now I need to go back and do my pulses. All right, so I got one. Un. For this half note, we know I need four pulses because I got four arrows. So I got two already on one pulse. Then I got to do two under the up arrow, two under the down arrow, so I got three, two under the up arrow, and then I got four, four. So if I'm getting ready to count this, I'm going to go one, two, three, three, four. All right. So again, I got one, two, three, four. Just like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to do uh, half rest, and then you, you'll be able to go back and refer to the video. So, we didn't cover this in class, but I'm going to go ahead and show you this for the next time you come in here, we got it. Let me erase this, all right? And so, what we got in here right now, remember, we know already what a whole rest looks like. We know a whole rest looks like this, a line and a hole. It's like a guy. Coming in, boom, falling into a hole. And we already know that a whole rest is equals four beats, all right, of silence. It equals four beats of silence. You know, a whole rest, all right, and I'm going to write whole rest. We know it equals four beats of silence. And whenever we write in the counts for this whole rest, so we're going to do the arrows first, and then the numbers, and then the pulses. Remember, a whole rest equals four beats. So if we think about how to figure out pulses, I'm going to write this again. Pulses is equal to the number of beats times 2. And so if I got 4 and I multiply that times 2, that's 8. So yes, I should have 8 arrows on the end. So I'm going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and up. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and do the numbers. And we know because these are rest, all my numbers are going to be small. And the numbers go under the down arrow. So small one, small two, small three, small four. On the up arrows, remember, I'm not going to put anything because those are rest and we don't do pulses on rest. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put in parentheses, I'm going to put a W on the end. Remember, this is how we count this. It will sound just like that. Easy. Very quick review. So now let's think about a half rest. A half rest is going to look just like a whole rest, but I going to be flipped up. It's going to look like a hat. So let's go through that real quick. So half rest, like this. I got a line and I got a box. This one, the box is going to be all right? And so a half rest is the cousin of a half note. So if a half note gets two beats of silence, 
we know they're gonna have you know some two beats of silence, y'all. We know that because we know it's not gonna be that smart. Two beats of silence. So if it gets two beats, how many pulses will it get? Let's go back to the process to figure out pulses. Remember, I'm gonna write this down just so you guys know this. Pulses equal number of beats times two. All right, so we already know the number of beats times two is gonna be two times two. Boom. Four pulses. So my half rest is gonna get four pulses. So I'm gonna draw a half rest right here and we're gonna do the pulses under here and we're gonna count. And then you can go back and review this video for any type of further assistance that you need. So again, I'm drawing my half rest. Remember, it looks like a whole rest, but it's opposite boxes on top. So if I get ready to write the counts into this real quick, remember we want four pulses. So I'm going down, up, down, up. Then we need to do the numbers. Remember, we got two small ones, small two. I'm not going to see any pulses here because I'm going to see this as a W. If I ever see this, I'm going to go. How about if I see small one? Good question. Same thing. I'm going down and up and up. Down and up arrow. Because it gets two beats, four pulses. I'm going, if I got one, two already, this one here is going to be three, four. And it's small. Boom. Put it in parentheses. W. If I got. All right, so that's a recap. And if you need to go back and you need to watch this over and over to understand.